Shalom. Peace, love, and light to the tribe. It's your boy, Sir Fuku. Now, you already know we align with the divine every time we make a video. In this video, we will be covering the metaphysical and scientific aspects of sacred energy exchange, also known as sex, also known as sexual intercourse. You feel me? Uh, I wanted to talk about this topic because you feel me? We live in a, you feel me, a very overly sexualized society um, that pushes the agenda of the law of reversal. Now, if you don't know what the law of reversal is, it basically states, you feel me, that boy is girl, girl is boy, you feel me, boy is transgender, this, that, and the third, right? Just flipping, you feel me, the roles of the divine beings uh, in creation. And that's not how it should be. And that's not how the ancestors before us viewed this act. And that's not how you feel me, the generation after us should view it. So I'm just making this video so the weekend, you feel me, reclaim, you feel me, our power. And I'm just gonna break, you feel me, some things down. And hopefully you feel me, the video resonates with you. And hopefully you feel me, you get what I'm trying to put across in this video. So, uh, the first thing I wanted to cover, right, was, you feel me, our ancestors, when we view, you feel me, this sacred energy exchange, we viewed it as just that, you feel me, sacred energy exchange, and right, we were not, you feel me, going around, you feel me, having sex with anybody. We were not just trying to bust a nut. We were not, you feel me, well, in some societies, of course it was, but in general, as a whole, right, we understood the power that this, you feel me, ritual has, right? And the power is, you feel me, we can birth things into creation. We can not only birth things, but we can also, you feel me, destroy things too, if we don't know what we're doing. And if, you feel me, we operating on that law of reversal and one of the things that have we have been taken away from right is the natural state of masculine and feminine energies you feel me as we are performing you feel me sexual intercourse and just in society and how we operate you feel me every single day in general so we're gonna cover um how masculine energy which is electric right you feel me symbolized by the plus symbol and is labeled you feel me or implying basically that masculine energy is the giving force right so and we are external beings right so we are the giving force we give we give to the female energy right we are the the beings that 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 the sperm comes out of the electrical charge we are you feel me the motion creators uh in this sexual ritual or this sexual act right and the feminine energy you feel me is negative you feel me represented by you feel me the negative sign or whatever and as you feel me being negative you feel me implying that um feminine energy is to receive right so females or feminine energy are internal beings and when i was saying males are external beings uh, i mean this in a physical aspect and i mean this in a spiritual aspect and i mean this you feel me in an electromagnetic aspect as well so how are men external beings well first and foremost we have ex external genitalia and females have internal genitalia right and this just coincides you feel me with the law of polarity which basically, you feel me, opposites must attract, you feel me, everything has its pair in the universe and must adhere to that relationship. So male and female, right? We are complete opposites, right? But we are internally and externally the exact same, right? So on the outside, you feel me, males, like we just do the exact opposite things, right? And if we, we come to like, the understanding of who we are right we can create any type of reality that we want or we can create anything that we want into fruition and into reality that we want and this is something that our ancestors understood and this is something that is negated in today's society because 
they want you when you think about sex right they want you on a lower type vibrational frequency right they want you uh only dealing with the 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 physical pleasures that you can get from sex which that is only one aspect of the sacred energy exchange right there are many other pleasurable aspects that you can you feel me gain from having sex right so you can have sexual healing you feel me you can you can uh experience orgasms um on on different you feel me chakras in your body and i know the chakras isn't you feel me exactly you feel me we don't have seven chakras we have more than seven chakras but you can have you feel me orgasms in all different parts of your body more than you feel me just yo yo uh genitals and so you can literally have an orgasm in your crown chakra if your consciousness is high enough and the female that you are engaging in this act with is with the program right so also i wanted to speak on the law of gender right masculine feminine principles right manifest on all planes of existence this is what i was saying like with the law of polarity as well right so we have to see it as this right males and females are literally polar opposites so see it as this the feminine energy right which is the womb which is everything you feel me everything is a matrix everything is it everything that comes into like this illusionary you feel me reality that we see had to come through some type of womb whether it was a portal which you feel me the feminine energy is a portal or you feel me like it had to come through a womb trust and believe if it exists on um, a physical plane of existence or any type of maya or any illusion right it, it is coming through a womb so it is safe to say right if we will put this on a um scientific um level you could say that the woman would be a battery right so the woman is the battery let's just go with that right the woman is the battery but the woman misses and lacks one component in the battery and that is the juice that's in the battery and that is what the masculine energy which is the external force gives to the battery which is the motion which is the moving which is time which is which is you feel me that oomph, that you feel me that the masculine energy gives and with this marriage of the masculine and feminine energy creates divinity creates godliness creates all existence right the masculine energy being electric the feminine energy being magnetic in nature right women naturally are seductive they will naturally seduce you to come their way right they will naturally you feel me do certain things in order to attract men they're always trying to attract you feel me magnetically pull you in right that's why even on a cosmic level we live in a electromagnetic universe right so everything is that given and taken of those energies everything is that you feel me electromagnetic uh, energy direct from source and that's what we get as being you feel me uh physical beings and physical representations of god in the flesh we get that never-ending electromagnetic energy direct from the source when we inhale exhale right so with this sexual uh sacred energy exchange we can experience uh we can do things such as sexual healing with things you feel me such as uh six nine which is basically you feel me you and your fe feminine energy looping your energy around right focusing your um your energy points towards um the healing process of what they're trying to do and you can also uh, experience higher levels of consciousness through this act as well now the way that you do this is by well first and foremost the masculine energy has to have a higher consciousness than the feminine energy he has to be giving something to the feminine energy in order for her to receive the information and when you are doing this sexual intercourse act you have to understand that even if the feminine energy has a higher consciousness than the masculine energy she will not receive any of the consciousness of the masculine energy because it is the masculine energy that is the electrical charge right within the act 
So you have to understand us as masculine energies. It is damn near our duty that we rise our consciousness and rise our vibration in order to experience these higher frequencies during sexual intercourse. Yeah, that way, right? So why wouldn't you want to? So you can literally, you feel me? Let's say you are a toxic masculine energy, right? Got cut off. Let's say you are a toxic male, right? Let's say you are this toxic energy. You being a, the external force and the female being the internal force, right? You will be giving her your toxic energy. And why the fuck would you want to do that, right? So if the female is already toxic and she letting you fuck, that just lets you know that she's a broken female, right? And you being a toxic male, you a broken male as well. And the only thing that y'all can create from this from this intercourse or this sacred energy exchange, right, is brokenness, right? And the goal, you feel me, in sex is to come together and to rise, right? And to rise, no matter what you want to do, right? You can manifest, you feel me, a business. You can manifest your jobs, your dreams, your reality. Also, by the way, I didn't mention this, but if you are trying to do any type of sex magic that doesn't have to do with you creating a baby, you as the masculine male force, right? You cannot ejaculate during sex. You have to be able to withstand and hold your ejaculation through the entire sex. So you could still practice semen retention and still be having sex, right? And like I said, well, I ain't say this, but that, that ain't for everybody, you feel me? This higher consciousness, tantric sex, magic sex, you feel me? exploration you feel me into the higher realms is not for everybody uh most people is gonna fuck like a doggy and then that's it you feel me bust nothing, and they done so this is for those higher vibrational beings those higher you feel me level thinkers those higher you feel me people who seek the higher way you know what i'm saying so one of the metaphysical aspects that i wanted to get across in this video and i wanted this to be you feel me very prevalent and very you feel me you feel me right in your face right is that we need each other no matter what um level of existence you want to put it at masculine energy needs feminine energy feminine energy needs you feel me masculine energy positive energy needs negative energy so what the fuck is positive energy if negative energy doesn't exist what the fuck is negative energy if positive energy doesn't exist you see what i'm saying that's what i was talking about with that law of polarity and i mean it's like on a such like a cosmic level like you got to really think about it like men you right we're external right we are the givers if we have nothing to give to it is nothing but chaos and women they are the womb right they are the the internal beings right what's the point of being internal if nothing is externally you feel me giving to that internal being right it's motionless it's nothing right there's no there's no time there's no there's no motion right it's boring so we need each other in order for this balance you feel me to resonate right and that's just one of the things i just wanted to get across right we need each other and that's why I feel like as melanated beings, we are very, our, our, the, the, the black family structure in general is very targeted because they don't want that masculine, that, that divine masculine and that divine feminine, you feel me, coming together and creating balance and restoring it within the universe. Yeah. Uh, that's basically all I got for y'all for this video. I hope you did like and enjoy the video. Please don't forget to give a like, comment, and subscribe. More videos on the way. Don't forget to follow my socials. It's been your boy, Sir Fuqua. I'm out.